Hey guys, um, tomorrow's the big day. Tomorrow's the day I am uh, moving to Texas. I've got about half my stuff packed and uh, I'm feeling incredibly lazy today for some reason. It's like I know I need to pack my stuff and I'm gonna get rid of most of it tomorrow and I'm gonna put the rest in my car and uh, go. Just me, my stuff, and I. Um, gotta get ready, gotta get motivated. It's hot though, and I'm I'm just I'm feeling incredibly lazy. Uh, I got to go back to uh, work and say goodbye to everybody and see everybody for the last time. And uh, start my trip at about 10 o'clock tomorrow. I'm gonna go be uh, visiting some people from the uh, Facebook group, Living Child Free in an Ableist World. Um, see one tomorrow in Arizona, and then uh, another one in Texas. There are a couple in Texas. One in Arkansas, two in Arkansas, really, and then uh, one in Illinois, and then I go back to Texas. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun little adventure. But um, I'd like to congratulate my buddy JC on uh, recently getting a vasectomy. Congratulations. Uh, he's uh, The procedure went well. The recovery, he says, is going well. Um, he has all of our support. If he has any questions, you know, he knows he, he, can, he can ask any time. Um, also to Ashley on getting her Assure procedure. Her recovery is going well. Congratulations. I don't, you've probably heard about it, but keep your, you know, your thoughts and prayers with those people in Colorado right now dealing with the fires, their loved ones, their family, their pets, their kids, everybody. You know, just, just keep them in mind and you know, keep a good thought up for them. They're going through a lot and it hasn't stopped yet. Um, I met somebody recently um, who I consider a good friend. I haven't known her for long, but we've got so much in common that that uh, you know she's she's uh, she's always going to be with me. Um, her name is Marissa, and uh, I met her through YouTube. She lived close by, and she wanted to take me out to dinner for uh, before I left. It's just some places that I haven't been before. The first night that we met, we talked for six hours. And that's very unusual for like first meeting people. I mean, we had we never ran out of things to talk about. We've met several times, and she's taken me out to gardens and places I've never been around LA. And I'm really appreciative of her. So if you can if you can find a child free friend close to you, chances are you'll have more in common than just being child free. But uh, it was really something special and something I'm going to keep with me forever. So thank you so much, Marissa. I'm not going to forget you. Um, uh, a little bit off topic, June 25th, uh, Oreo showed their support for a uh, gay pride campaign by posting a picture of a an Oreo with multicolored frosting in the middle. This pissed people off, some people off, and I mean just the homophobic comments on that, I'll post it in my video, the homophobic comments are amazing people boycotting, wanting to boycott Oreo, never buying another Oreo product ever again because they support gays. It's stupid. It really is. I don't understand the closed-mindedness of it. I'm not gay, but I support, you know, gay marriage. If people, you know, as long as people aren't hurting anybody, do what you want. You know, you want to get married? Fine. You know, who's, who's to say you can't? Or you shouldn't? But, um, yeah, so as soon as I, you know, found out that people were bashing Oreo, I went out and I bought some peanut butter Oreos. But yeah, go go out and uh, go get some Oreos. Go go out and pick up a pack of Oreos. Go treat yourself. And while you're out, go get some ice cream. It is fucking hot. I hear it's uh, uh, like 112, I think, in Texas. Yeah, I'm going to be driving in that tomorrow. <laughs> through Arizona, through New Mexico, through Texas. And, uh, <laughs> people are like people on my friends in Texas on Facebook, my high school friends are like, "Hey, welcome back! It's 112 degrees." I'm like, "Oh, great!" But uh, so yeah, there was one thing I don't think I mentioned uh, in my last videos. When I, back when I was married, my wife asked me. I used to work in uh, Thousand Oaks when I lived in Oxnard. There was uh, uh, my wife called me and she said, "Hey, I just checked a, a Yankee Candle and they said they've got this candle in called Fresh Mint, which they've, I think they've got a year round now, but back then it was rare." Um, so can you pick it up for me on the way home? I said, "Yeah, sure, no problem." <laughs> so I go to the mall. As I'm walking past this fountain, this kid is playing on the edge of the fountain, 
and she's like standing up on it and I'm just thinking I'm like I'm just waiting for it to fall in I'm just waiting 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 I look over <laughs> I hear a splash I look back over and the kid is in the water <laughs> it was awesome I took everything I had not to bust out laughing <laughs> she's crying she's screaming and uh the parents are like helping her out and she's still crying. The janitor's coming over there with towels and stuff, wipe her out, you know, wipe her up and and uh, clean the floors and stuff so nobody slips. And uh, the parents, it, it shocked me, the parents are just laughing their asses off at this little girl because she's just crying and she's wet and she's cold. I know it's horrible, but oh, the, wish I time, the times I wish my wife was with me, like the one time, it's like the priceless moment. It was awesome. Um, on to a more, a bit more serious topic. I kind of wanted to end on the funny stuff, um, but I think uh, that this needs to be said. Um, the reason I got my vasectomy, well, I mean, there's several, several, several reasons. The, me the reason that it was so uh, immediate was because uh, my wife and I had a little bit of a pregnancy scare back when we were married. Um, about, yeah, four, four-ish years ago. Um, she was switching birth controls, and we didn't use condoms at the time because her birth control was pretty good. She was on the depo. Or she was getting, she's either getting on or getting off the depo, going from pills to depo, I can't remember. But um, she was in between. And uh, we didn't have protection. And it was the heat of the moment. So we did it. And, uh, we got scared and, you know, afterwards we took a, uh, she took a pregnancy test and those were the, probably the tensest moments of my life was when we were awaiting the results. Um, you know, all I could think about was how am I going to provide for my family? You know, if she's pregnant, how, what do I, what am I going to have to do? to provide for my family, for my wife and a child. And I wasn't thinking of abortion, I wasn't thinking of, you know, anything, adoption, abortion. I would, the only thing that was going through my mind was how can I support my family? Um, and I was serious. You know, if the worst happened, that's what, I, that's what I'd have to do. Um, luckily, it came back negative, the pregnancy test. And, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. She uh, she was kind of fighting me on the vasectomy thing for a little while. She's like, oh, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. After that happened, the next day, she was scheduling, she called the urologist and scheduled me for a vasectomy consultation. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's how it went. And then I got my vasectomy. I went in for the consultation, uh, waited my 30 days, got my procedure, um, and I've been clear. So I've been clear, I've taken several tests, and I've been clear on each one. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I know I'd make a good father if I had children. I know I would. Um, you know, I would have the kids' safety in mind, education, um, upbringing, you know, raising in a right, in, in the right way. As, as right, well, not saying the right way, in the, in the best way possible for our situation. Um, but that's, you know, luckily that's not going to happen. I can focus on me now. Um, that's something I haven't been able to do for a very long time. Um, I was so dedicated to taking care of my wife that, you know, I didn't really, you know, discover who I was. You know, I was busy trying to, to make her happy, which was fine, but, um, you know, now is my chance. I see it as my chance. This is, you know, figuring out how to do things my way and what I need and what I want. Um, so I'm going to take it. You know, I'm going to stay single for a while. Um, I'm certainly not going to dedicate myself to pleasing anyone, you know, full time like I did. I still like pleasing people, you know, buying dinner and opening doors for women, you know, whatever. But, um, you know, this is my time and I'm gonna take it. So I'm gonna take it slow. If somebody wants a relationship, you know, if I'm ready, then okay, but it's my call. 
and you know discovering who I am. It's gonna be, that's what this trip is about. Going back, seeing, being around family, friends, making new friends. Um, you know, just seeing what's out there. So uh, we'll see how it goes.